versus right, her versus um, versus Marmo Tato. Believe. Should probably check the Discord to make sure that's their official name. Wait a minute. Where is coordination? By the way, for those that don't know, character uh, is a Terran player and he uh, also creates some maps. Yeah, he's posted some of his maps, I think, in the CPL Discord. Right? Yeah, and uh, on the for, for fun sake, Terran League, uh, we had to play on uh, one of his maps, so. Oh, how was it? it? Was, yeah, it was very fun. It's a two. This one is a two-player map, and I keep messing with the name. I I don't remember if it's Tadis or Stadic, but uh, it's a two-player map that's uh, that is very really fun to play. But uh, when I played played versus him, I played versus the creator of this map for for this <laughs> link, and I beat Russians. <laughs> It yeah. was a short. I didn't uh, fully play on the map, so. Right. So it's kind of hard to tell sometimes. Uh, it's like, oh, you made this map? What if I just cannon rushed you? <laughs> yeah, we kind go. of. <laughs> All right. Disappointed, but... Well, then we'll see if character can be play as well on other people's maps as they can on their own map as we hop into the first game they've chose uh, Eclipse and in the top right corner we have Marmo uh, as the dark greenish Protoss in the bottom left we have Character as the yellow Terran so a PvP this time yep well okay so Marmo wins PvT that's Always, you'll love to see it. Um, no, I'm just kidding, but. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Alright, well, again, we'll speed up the first couple minutes of the game just to get right into the action, and the probe goes out immediately. Marmo is truly a Protoss' is Protoss, sending the probe out immediately. Where is this gonna be a gas steal? Oh no, it's a proxy on the oh. north side of the map. In the middle of the. That is. Yeah, That's it's a pretty a good proxy spot. location. Yeah, I think he, the probe was a little bit light, but uh, mm -hmm. overall, it will do some damage, I'm sure. Yeah. Okay, just seeing their a supply depot up, and it's just going to be a one gate proxy. Yeah. Okay. Don't seem to have a lot of buildable terrain there, lots of rocks, so I don't know if you can fit two gates there. Uh, I th think you can. I don't know if you. I just. Um, I was catching up on the ASL yesterday, and oh, oh, oh there it the is. Gas. He got it. The <laughs> SCV was in position. Character sends out the. Oh my god. It's a PV. It is PV time. <laughs> <laughs> well, character, that is not the only thing you aren't seeing right now. Uh, exactly. <laughs> Luckily, he he does have his anti-zealot uh, macro infrastructure set up, so he should be able to defend it at least somewhat well. Yeah, it's, it's, but it's gonna be. Is good. Oh, he's building a second uh, barracks. Oh, wrong wrong button. He's building a second barracks, kind of in the corner of his map, apparently. And he's building up his supply depot. So, yeah, I'm. Birds they got this out. Yeah, this is going to be come down to how well character can uh, keep that zealot out of a uh, out of his base. SCVs, ooh, the SCVs are going to get the kill on the probe as it kind of freaks out a little bit, so there won't be a uh, back to back that gas steal that sometimes happens. Oh, and the SCVs do a really good job of at least preventing the marine from coming up too quickly. But I think, that, oh, the zealot does get the first oh, okay. marine but the yeah. second marine should be able to shoo him away. A spaceless life to tell oh. about this is, at this point, they've read 
it's permanent damage on the units of the Theron, since there will be no medic or whatever. Right. You don't make medics in, in PvT unless you're... or in TvP unless you're a complete mad lad and are going bio. Yeah, it, it kind of works with the uh, m, &M but uh, sometimes it surprises the protos, but... Uh, yeah, and actually, um, let's see. There's a bunker up, so the Zealot Rush kind of is over. He can kind of get some uh, damage in on these. Is, ooh, actually, if he gets... Then it would be uh, closer to the command center, or minor lines. I think it's pretty far. Yeah. And it does cover the ramp as well, so... Yeah, so the Zealots kind of do get to keep running in for free, but... It's just is going to be harder for character to micro these uh, marines out of place. The Zelt's going to get another one. Yeah, free kill there. Mm -hmm. Might be able to run down south and get the marine that's killing the assimilator. Dealing that they run to get gas. And the marine tries the duck between the barracks and the command center. The Zealot gets baited into attacking the bunker. Zealot takes out care of another SCV. Yeah, you got the... Yeah, so now there's a big problem because Marmo is getting to, uh, getting Dragoons out now. Which means that character doesn't have the bunker up at the natural, so it's gonna be really hard for him to expand. Um, I don't know if he researched range. It looks like he didn't, so... No, didn't. Yeah, so actually... That is a lot of marines. Um, yeah, I, I director like to do this when they got this. Yeah, still he did it versus me. Mm. Yeah, I almost would like to see the marines just push out and try to like get a bunch of damage done. Uh, because marines against dragoons without range is actually yeah, like they, they'll that. they'll beat a dragoon. The range is uh, researching right now. Yep. Uh, Pretty far behind, the Zealot's trying to help, but he gets kind of chewed up really quickly. Yeah, the Marines just push. However, I don't think Character knows that the Gateway is proxied there, so... It might buy just, just be alive for a couple more seconds. Uh, but he's bringing an SCV with him, so maybe Bunker... Uh, the Protoss army? Yeah. Builds a bunker right outside the uh, natural and keeps the sort of dragoons in their base until the range is finished, which it almost is. Oh, they catch the dragoon that was out on the map. Dragoon just barely kills two reinforcing marines, but this, uh, this uh, pylon looks like it's going to go down, which will supply block Marmo. Ooh, they are. Yep, they're going to get the SCV, so there won't be a bunker. Dragoons can retreat to high ground and defend as long as the marines don't get a lot of lucky shots. Um, luckily, okay, luckily the targeting is a bit off and we just have some very damaged dragoons instead of a bunch of dread dead dragoons. Did a good job defending with this dragoon. Mm. Might be. Absolutely. Um, character's now getting into stim. So he is going bio <laughs> bio, like. All right, where's the where's the third and fourth uh, barracks character? Come on, now. play a P play a TVZ. So no uh, no factory at all. Build one, <laughs> as I said that. <laughs> And the proxy's still uh, producing Goonie, so... I know, yeah, he, he doesn't know it's there, so it's... Marmo hasn't really lost anything from the proxy not working. He basically forced character to have to build some a bunker in his main, got some SCVs, and he still gets a gateway out of it, so... Yeah, and uh, he's getting his robotic facility, so maybe we will see Reaver to deal with uh, Bio, which is a good... Uh, Good answer to that. Yeah, there's gonna be a lot of a lot of dead gunmen. Yeah. Um, 
<laughs> Marine range is on the way. So actually, oh, this, yeah. So they're gonna have stim and range. So the dragoon pressure is actually not gonna work too well. The character's getting a missile turret up to uh, protect from dark templar. So that's yep. pretty good. Um. Oh man, that's a lot of dragoons. He's gonna need a fourth SCV to come and repair before that third one, fourth one starts shooting. Range is almost done. And you need uh, as much SCV as there's dragoon mm -hmm. hitting the barn to repair. If you have it. too many, uh, they'll overheal, and then you you might forget to heal the bunker because it over it, it finishes repairing, yeah. and you get into this position. Oh no. And Marine range just finished, so if that bunker hadn't gone down, the Marines would have started firing back, and there's two extremely low health dragoons that would have. three extremely low health dragoons that would have popped health. instantly. Yep. I think Pretty he, unfortunate. He's gonna get the command center. And once he does that, he might just be able to walk up the ramp. The SCVs will lock it, but there's only two marines defending here right now, and a siege tank's about to come out, but that's rough. Maro has a probe in place to build a third. Oh, man. And he's getting his third base, Marmo, which is the it is. good thing to do. So... We see a uh, Templar Archive with the uh, Observatory. Mm. Yep, that's probably going to be Dark Templar coming out. Yeah, maybe. And there's nothing to detect inside character base right now. Mm -hmm. The only turret was at the natural and it is dead. Yeah. But the range is about to get done. Wait, does he have siege range? Yep, yeah, it's a uh, finish. Okay. Then uh, he should be able to maybe put some tanks up on um, this high ground and keep the dragoons Another bear? Oh, <laughs> yeah. Characters. Oh no, well, those High Templar are gonna come out, and characters gonna be very sad. Yeah. See, I think he uh, overcome it with the, the bio there. Mm-hmm. He said he he was like, you know what? Let's go bio this game, and <laughs> fortunately, medics will not outheal a Psy storm. Yeah, let's prove that bio versus process is <laughs> not the good way to do it. <laughs> and marines I mean I guess once both units have their range upgrade I guess marines can fight dragoons uh, you'll get a lot more marines than there are dragoons and they'll kinda, it'll kind of work but yeah I mean <laughs> and the uh, op server is on the character base and Scouting, seeing the mass barracks. <laughs> yeah, Maru, Maru is like he's he's researching Psy Storm. He's just like, okay, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm fine with this. <laughs> There's even a Dark Templar coming because uh, character never rebuilt a any missile turrets, so the Observer can get in for free, and the DTs will be able to get in for free. Yep, and DTs I will one shot Marines regardless of armor, so. I think the SimCity of Marmoth is uh, a little bit bad because some dragon will pop up yep. inside the white space and they will get stuck there. Yeah, there's there's room for... And, you, and sometimes this happens and you go, okay, only a couple of dragoons will get stuck here, but dragoons somehow are the largest unit until they're getting stuck behind buildings, in which case they're so small that you can fit like 30 of them in a... In, a dragoon sized hole. Yeah. So, DD is up. Yep, the entire bioforce dies, the Dark Templar's coming in, there's still no detection, so 
DT will be able to clear everything. Yep, there he goes. He's going to start taking swipes at the uh, siege tank. The shuttle tries to yeah. move in. It doesn't have anything in it. Yep, siege that tank goes down. The DT can just start clearing things. Um, I guess... There's our GG. There's the GG. Character leaves the game, and that is game one for Marmo. Starting off pretty strong, though I think character probably is going to say, you know what, let's maybe let's not go bio games for the rest of the games. <laughs> <laughs> let's get my gas earlier. Yeah, let's let's make sure I don't get that gas stolen. I think it's probably what Miss with his build more than the proxy gate. Yeah, I yeah the SCV ready. The, yeah, the SCV was there to take the gas. It's just the probe snuck in and was like, "No, this is my gas." <laughs> Move to game. It took a little while to Marmo to uh, get the, the the minerals to get the assimilator. So. Mm. All right. We'll move into game two of Character vs. Marmotator, this time on Polypoid. Alright, in the top right corner of Polypoid we have Marmo, once again as the green Protoss, and in the bottom left we have Character as the yellow Terran, both hitting each other with the good luck have funds. All right. Do you want to take bets? Do you think Marmo is going to uh, cheese again? Keen, by oh, the yeah, way. Uh, he... what it, fuck, eight hours? <laughs> I think he will. I mean, Best. when he's got a good recipe, you try it until it, it doesn't work. <laughs> Don't you think? <laughs> yeah. I mean, wh why, why just show the other strategy when you can stick with the... Uh, Right and true. Keep the secret for someone else. Yeah. He, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do a 24-hour cast. <laughs> <laughs> um. Well, it looks like Marmo said, "You know what? Let's just play it. Play a regular game and character." He's going to agree with them. They're both going to play regular games as honorable StarCraft Brood War players. I thought for a second he was going 12 Nexus. Oh but man, no. that'd be really funny. But no, there's a gateway. Yeah, it looks like Marmo is going to first scout character though. So... Yeah, maybe uh, Gastil if he's fast enough. Uh, oh, no. nope. <laughs> that, was, <laughs> that was not a gas steel timing probe. Character, carry. he sent that SCV over and was like, I'm going to make sure I get this, builds it immediately. <laughs> um, yeah, so the probe's going to scout it. Character's going to send his, uh, his SCV out to see where Marmo's hiding that gateway. Yeah, and he's uh, scouting the wrong way. Oh, unfortunate. Uh, probe is going to cause as much trouble as possible, though. And then Marmo is going for a cyber, which mm. is pretty standard. Yep. Uh, sometimes you get the zealot first and then the cyber core, uh, if you want to be yep. a little aggressive, but it's it's or more standard. Safer. Yeah, or safer, because if the Terran shows up with three marines and a bunker at your base, you're going to need it. Right, and so the character should throw up the factory right there. And he took some SCVs off gas, so there should be a factory um, expand. Marmo should be able to tell, though. Um, if he doesn't necessarily see that it's a factory expand, I wouldn't blame him because this is—it's really hard for me to like be moving my probe around and be like, okay, how many SCVs are in gas? Yeah. Um, and uh, Marmo is on. 
to gas, by the way. I mean, uh, to probe. Mining gas. To probe. Oh, man. That has to be a misplay, right? I think so. I, I know you can switch a probe at some point to get a faster expansion, but I think he went on two probes since the beginning, so... All three. Hmm. Well, he's getting the fast nexus now. It looks like now's the timing window. We're going for a common sender at the natural. Yep. Oh, looks like Morrow is a little supply blocked right now. There's the pylon up above the assimilator. Okay, so will he deny the bunker? I think he will be able to. Uh -huh. Yeah, it looks like he will. Really close? Yeah. yeah. But um, the second SCV will come up and, and finish repairing because the yep. Dragoon retreated. Came up, sniped the SCV. He probably could have been a little more aggressive with it, but um, range is about to be done and there's about to be some more Dragoons on the way, so he will be able to put at least some pressure onto the front of character's base. Um, yeah, Marmo is uh, going for his expansion down a pylon so he doesn't get supply blocked again though it does look like he is going to character with a really bad supply block on 26 he's been there for a while could have been way more ahead in supplies mm -hmm. there goes the turret to defend against potential dts i think character don't take any chance with the dts no that's i it's honestly fair because uh, if you don't have if you don't have the DT to detection, it's like no, it's almost like GG. Yeah. Right. It's there... so. very little counterplay. Ooh, the dragoons get a little too close to the bunker. Oh, yeah, oh, but the bad. hold on. Yeah, if if Maro micros forward, he will be able to pick off the tank. Oh, yeah, but the siege the... mode finishes and the SCVs buffer. Maro had a moment of indecision or the dragoons did the dragoon thing and freaked out a little bit um and you need uh, two sh two volley of four dragoon to kill a thing so mm -hmm. sometimes you can think and see uh, if you are able to afford it yeah i'm a i'm a i'm a relatively aggressive player if i'm in that kind of position i'm like i'm gonna win and i just dive on the siege tank and then lose because i i lose all my dragoons to scvs yeah, <laughs> I'm about the same, so <laughs> I understand the fear. Uh, okay, I mean I both... That much of tank, and then only blue goo, blue blood on the ground. Uh, well, maybe blood. more than I expect. <laughs> it's like, oh, there's tanks on the high ground too? I... <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Uh, both players are getting into, I guess, a relatively healthy uh, mid-game. The supplies are kind of, I guess, where they should be. Uh, yeah. The workers are about roughly even. Marmo has a slight lead, um, but he is bad. banking a lot of minerals, so it's not doing him a lot, uh, too many favors. You could put more gateways order and get another expo. Mm -hmm. I think once you're kind of at that two base saturation, you want to just immediately go up to, f not even four, you want to go up to like six or something. <laughs> are, are you, right, you, you probably want to have four right about now, and then you want to get uh, the extra ones yeah, once you yeah. get into like Citadel Tech and whatnot. Character is on, uh, it will be on four factory really soon, so if you don't add up more gateway. Oh yeah, characters have a lot more mech than Marmo has gateway units. If uh, okay, I think the, black, the the position of that gateway that is warping is not good. Yeah, you can and see yeah. a, a dragoon is kind of stuck between him, oh. and he's gonna have to try to. F oh, he cancels yeah. the gateway. That is, you hate to see it. Yeah. Yeah, do. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's no way yeah. you can you can keep uh 
keep that positioning because you'll end up with so many dragoons stuck behind the that mineral line. I think Marmo just need to maybe work more, work a little bit more on his Sim City, because overall it's, it's decent. It's yeah, it's decent. Like, like it's not like every unit. Like he he has a lot of space to work with, which you kind of want as Protoss because your units are very clunky. But every now and then there's like that small mistake of okay, there's gonna be dragoons trapped behind things here. Um. Yeah, character has his uh, whole. He's at six fact now. Yeah, it's uh, four, he's, five, six. Yeah. Yeah, he's he's uh, macroing up. He's arm uh, weapon upgrades on the way at three quarter. Oh yeah. Um. Oh, wrong button. Wrong. Uh, can I click dead. on the siege tank? Thank you. Okay, so that is their first weapons upgrade. Oh, Marmo is expanding forward at the th at the uh, three o'clock. Yeah. Yep. Sets the cannons up. This is actually kind of crazy because that means uh, if if Marmo can secure this base, taking twelve is is so much easier late game. So. Um, taking the minor only phase. Oh wow, Marmo is just saying, you know, I am floating way too many resources. I'm just gonna build a lot of tech buildings. I'm gonna build my bases. You aren't pushing out because you're macroing up. So I'm gonna set up to be way further ahead. We got Goliath. Mm-hmm. Well. So this should uh be at least somewhat helpful to help pick off observers, maybe some shuttles. Yeah, oh, so character about to push. Unseaging everything. Getting ready. Yeah. I see how this move out works. Um, there isn't actually that huge of an army from Marmo, so um, if character finds the right angle, I mean, he will be able to kill this three o'clock base, right? Yeah, I think so. If he knows it's there, though. And that's the question: is what what does character actually know? Because uh, he just got his comms out, like right now. Right, and he's actually moving out just. A little too late to catch the uh, reinf. Oh wait, nope. There's the uh, vultures. Oh. Uh, wait, no. Marmo. <laughs> no character. Okay, he he does. I think he does see it on the mini map now. Uh, yeah, he sees it. Mon character. Let's just send those four vultures over into this corner and start taking out probes. And Storm is not ready yet. By the way. Oh, oh that's huge. Oh, and, uh, oh, don't lose those items. Yeah. Oh man, these vultures. Vultures are not just spider mine bots. They can snipe high templar and they can kill probes extremely quickly. Yep. Um, I would almost. There's no like. There's not a lot of zealots with this army. I would love to see the vultures just do a little like slide up here to start taking out these high templar, or to just kill the probes. Just do anything other than sit with the army. And wait for the storms to actually hit. I don't know what the three dragons doing chilling at the left side of the map. But... Oh, they're just... They're going on an adventure. <laughs> okay. Did he not Probably see quick. the ex expo at three? He did see it, or at the very least it did show up on his mini-map because he had yeah. vision. But he but, might uh... be ignoring it and thinking that he wants to push up into the main. Which, I mean, he kind of has the army to as long as character as long as uh yeah marmo doesn't get high quality storms oh that the snipe, the snipe the other high templars gonna come okay yep it's dead. and there is nothing inside the yeah, marmo doesn't have any army yeah it is just mostly zealot reinforcements and that is not going to be able to uh cut through character's army so um yeah, character could have had the push be a lot more deadly, but uh, even just as it is, you know, Marmo, he macroed up way too fast, and uh, he got punished for it by the big push. If he had more gates, he would be able to uh, reinforce. Mm -hmm. oh, three, oh. The three dra dragoons come back from their adventure and immediately get 
wiped out. And yeah, that is looking like it is going to be game there. I think so. So, nice play from character here. Yeah, the, the, the push out was uh, very well done. Yeah. Sniping mm -hmm. to those item bar was great. Mm -hmm. Now he's all up into the main, he can just run straight up to the probes and start. Yeah, that's it. Yep. And uh, that's going to put our game score at 1-1. One, one, tied up. Marmo with the... Uh, the one the proxy gate pressure and character with the uh well executed mech push um if if i were to say either of those games were going to be indicate like, uh, indicate uh like how the rest of the games are going to go i think game two is going to tell us a lot about how the rest of the series since um it was a lot more standard, and there's only so many times that a like a one gate pressure is going to uh, work, especially if your opponent knows that you're willing to do it. We'll host up game three of character versus Marmotato, and it's going to be on Circuit Breakers, which is a Protoss favored map. So, I rate, isn't it? Uh, it's Mark Terran. Hello? Hello. Your volume is low. Oh, yeah. low, alright. Hello. Let me raise oh, your... I thought I could change oh. it from here. Alright, I raised... I, I don't know, I just raised your user volume up, so... Okay, cool. I gotta go, but... Uh... What's the game password? Uh, 123. Uh, okay. But I will probably join later today. Yeah. Since it's a 8 hour, eight hour marathon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we should be going on for about maybe, I guess at this point, around six more hours? That's the estimate. I'm kind of I'm overshooting a little bit because I plan on, you know, we're going to have a lunch break so I can Definitely eat problem. and stuff. So. <laughs> oh, I think it's bugged. I've got to log out. Oh, okay. Hold on. See you later. Well, I'll, I'll remake it real quick. Game. Okay. There we go. All right. Awesome. And we'll just go ahead and hop into game three. I missed it. What's the uh, score of the series? The score is one one. Uh, Marmo took game one with like a proxy gateway, and character got game two with the mech push so in the bottom right corner we have uh, Marmo playing as the green Protoss again and in the bottom left corner we have character as the yellow Protoss so I think he's played yellow in every game that at least I could remember in RSL so sometimes sometimes players have a preferred color they just do We'll go ahead and speed the game up to get through these first couple of minutes. Ten, ten, ten. I think. Looks like it. So do you know? Uh, I don't think I've ever. How, well, how does I that build work? Because I don't know if I've I ever think seen it's this. aggressive, but um, hmm. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, well, I'm we'll... Terran, but uh, yeah, it's... I think I tried it once, but 
then we'll see yeah. if uh, I guess we'll see if character is aggressive with it because Marmo's playing pretty standard, but he's getting the Zell at first. So if it is aggressive, he will have a, a bit of a defense. I think it gives you a factory as quickly as possible, mm. but at the expense of some econ. So it probably will be uh, a bit of a like a factory push out. Which be my guess, but so Mama will be slightly oh, ready for it. Though, oh, they are supply blocked. Oh, uh, maybe not. Yeah, he's because he's doesn't have enough minerals for the factory. Oh, he built a supply depot, and I thought that was the uh, factory going down. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I was like, I like was like, okay, there's the factory, and I looked over at Mama's screen, and I come back, I was like, wait, what? Um. I don't know what he's doing, man. Yeah, he's moved his SCVs off of uh, gas now, so it's not a two-fac. I mean, it could just be a delayed Dark factory. <laughs> <laughs> I, <don't know. laughs> I mean, I would love to see him rush to battle cruisers, but I'm not sure how effective. No, it's it's two fac. Okay. But it has to be. I don't know. I guess it might not be an expansion. Um, Marmo's building two more gateways. I guess predicting that there's going to be some aggression. I think the. Yeah. He's building a, a character's building a ton of marines. Oh, he so might. So I be... think he's getting ready for a for an attack. Probably. Yep. Um. So that's going to be a... Uh, yeah, what's that, like eight marines or something? No, uh, yeah, so it is going to no, be seven, a... Right. Three, three, seven marines. He might go up to eight. He's getting spider mines and a siege tank, an interesting combination. Yeah. As though that is not what lays spider mines, but... Well, it is. it, it can be nice to have a tank without siege against dragoons even right and i guess you can research the siege mode as you're moving across the map and and the vultures build faster than the tank so when you're resupplying yeah, and they rally faster so yeah that's fair um so this oh, is oh but a second tank all right well i don't know he probably knows it better than i do so <laughs> i shouldn't yeah i guess we'll just see how it goes i'm sure this is going to be a push at this point I'm yep, a little worried the... for him though because Marmo's not being greedy. Mm -mm. I think Marmo. Oh, that is an unfortunate. I would not think that the dragoon could get stuck in there. Oh, where is? Oh, <laughs> that is. Oh, yeah. That feels he's, bad. Uh, he's. Oh, he's gonna have to destroy his own pylon, and he actually no. Marmo's moving get out. out from there, though? Is he trapped between those two gateways? He, I don't know if he's going to be trapped between the gateways and the cyber core. I actually think he is. And oh no, the dragoons are going to move out to try and pressure, but they're on oh. move command. Oh, I mean, no. character's expanding, but you just go, oh, wait a minute. You just lost two dragoons versus me. I have tanks. Seems pretty good. All right, so we're gonna see if Marmo, if Marmo's dragoon is gonna be able to slide between this gateway and this cyber core real quick. He is okay. Thank goodness. Really, yeah. Marmo's Sim City is a bit rough around the edges. Oh, um, I, th I th liked his position before, but now I'm kind of worried for Protoss. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he had to kill a pylon. Oh, now... Although, character. fighting up a ramp is not the best, but... Oh, I don't know. I, honestly, with the Marines blocking for the siege tanks, I think he probably could have pushed up. Does he not have siege mode? Oh, he does. Oh, yep. he just got it. Oh, no. Now Marmo's gonna have a hard time, like, getting his natural up. Well, character And he, like... he's, like, stuck down there, too. Mm-hmm. This is when that, that barracks lands in Marmo's main, starts building marines for the flank. The observer is out to spot, uh, but... Another <laughs> dragon. 
and now the vultures are rallying out to defend to lay some mines down that are, is really going to solidify these uh, tanks into not dying. I feel like you should almost do something weird like go DT or... I would go DT in this position. Like, there's no uh, SCV... Oh, I guess against mines that's not very good. Yeah, but he even has an observer... Well, I guess if he went DT, he might not have an observer, but... Yeah. Oh, yeah. a pretty great oh. spider mine kills a lot of the marine force. Yeah, and this game is hard to predict. <laughs> <laughs> well, so Marmo breaks out, he'll be able to expand now, and the character doesn't have a lot of army back home, so he like can't really threaten to keep Marmo contained. Oh, Vulture gets into the main base though, and there's no uh, there's no dragoons back here, and there's no dragoons about to uh, come out either. Oh, but he's like just oh. attacking a pylon. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> yep, that could have been that could have been a couple of probes killed. Yeah, I probably could have gotten. But the I don't dragoons. Know, three or four, maybe. Yeah. But this might go into a longer game, I guess, alright? Yeah, I guess we'll see. Um, neither player, like, Marmo isn't trying to move out to uh, do anything aggressive. They're just both saying, okay, we, we did our stuff. Time to sit back and macro. Uh, the Observer is going to move in, and the, there aren't too many turrets that would uh, block it from getting vision, so... Marmo should get a good idea of where character is at. I want to see how units come out of this bottom factory. Oh wow! <laughs> yeah, I saw it. Actually, it actually works really well, but <laughs> I know. It, it's one of those really complicated setups where, um, like the ones that you see sometimes where they build like a weird combination of gateways pylons and a cybernetics core to pop units uh, up up uh, up cliffs okay yeah marmo has got a shuttle i don't know if he's what he's got planned but. uh well he doesn't have reaver tech so i'm guessing he might try to do a dt or a high templar drop all oh, right here's the templar archive yeah. yeah marmo's in a way better position in this game than he was in game two like he got his uh gateway count up a lot earlier and, uh, yeah. His army composition. He has a bit more units and character. Uh, well, I don't know. Maybe character with a solid push could still. Yeah, I think character's in a good spot, but he ne kind of needs to be out on the map a little bit. Mm -hmm. Maybe have his, uh, like, siege tank sieged across vultures the bridges. Leads, like, or just those vultures should be out, I think. Yeah, that makes Doing sense. Doing something. Lay some uh, spider mines all across the map at expansions to scout for them. I love mines. <laughs> spider mines. I mean, you get to pay 75 minerals for three spider mines, and you get a bike dude for free. It's pretty good. Yeah, I remember back in the day, like 20 years ago, I thought they were the worst unit ever. Yeah. It's like <laughs> they die so easily to everything. Yeah, they what? suck. They don't do any damage. They die. Why, why would you ever use them? Granted, I was like, I don't know, yeah. how will we go? <laughs> it's like, I lay the spider mines down and I, they only have three of them. That's all you need sometimes. A all probe right, here he goes. I like this pressure, yeah. Yep. Uh, he should have been able to see the probe sneak out to build the third base with his uh, bridge mine. 
but he might have missed it on the mini map. Sometimes it's hard yeah. to catch those things. It looks like he thinks the Protoss is in that, um, what is it, 5 o'clock? Yeah. yeah. The Observer's doing a great job of seeing the army. I, it looks like, yeah, the siege tanks are going to siege at this angle and maybe try to push in. Uh, however, Marmo's army is pretty healthy. Um, yeah, I don't think he can attack fully, but. Um, keeping the pressure think, on is, is really Yeah, valuable. and he can make some efficient trades. Yeah, it, it prevents the Protoss from being able to defend this third base, so if character can uh, uh, swing some vultures around to catch it. Oh, a lot of yeah, zealots like are getting picked off. Enough zealots, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, this could just be another game, like game two, where character, he just uh, has a really solid push. Uh, with... Yeah, I think he could actually just kill him right now. Mm -hmm. Like move. He's uh... got 20, 20 army supply lead versus Protoss. Oh man, yeah, that's... Yeah, the tanks can just move up, melt eight, all the Yeah, teams. eight tanks. I think he can just kill them. Yeah, I don't, I'm don't. i not even sure if uh, the High Templars have storm researched yet. Uh, yeah, I can't tell. Yeah, moving a lot of vultures up on there is not the way to go, but it does bait a couple of the, uh, some of the army into walking into siege tank range. Yeah, I don't know. A lot of these vultures are just out of position. Oh, Ooh. good storm. Yeah. Um, so. Yeah. But then kills his own zealot with a storm, yeah. It happens. <laughs> uh, character's getting wraiths? Um, I don't know about that, but. I mean, I guess they can shoot observers. Right, the siege tanks come in, so that these sh will melt the wounds. Yeah, this is what he needs to do. Just. Yep. In inch Unit. forward and yep. tighten the nudes. Yep. The Zelts are going to try to come out to clear the tanks. They might be able to get some of these down, mm. but no. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, it's just reinforcing Zealots at this point, which I mean, uh, like, they. Zealots at a certain number can fight tanks pretty well, but not. Oh, yeah. Like they're, they're really good. Zealots are scary. <laughs> And that looks like it's going to be game again. Character is going to kill the natural. Marmo might be able to defend from atop the ramp, and with the hidden, I guess, third base, his economy isn't completely destroyed, but... Yeah, but this is... He can't defend, yeah. <laughs> uh, run some vultures up the ramp, siege some tanks at the bottom, and you can just start taking things out. So character finding some good... Uh, well, basically, <laughs> finding success with this like one-one timing attack, kind of. Yeah. Test tag toss easy. I mean, after this game, this is this is game three, and it's two games straight of of character of, of Marmo kind of letting character play the game he wants and just get this tank push and coming over and killing him. I feel like Marmo yeah, should just be like, hey, what if I just proxy gate the next two games? Yeah, because did you say he won the first game like that? Yeah, he, he proxied a gateway and then um, it went into a bit of a macro game from there, but uh, it character was really far behind from the proxy. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, maybe you should try that again. Yeah. It's not honorable, but <laughs> it works, yeah. I know I would much prefer to not have a Zell in my base for <laughs> the whole beginning of the game, or my gas stolen, or uh, manor pylon. Or... What are you talking about? As, a, as an honorable Protoss player, I am simply helping you uh, with by building your gas for you. Or, yeah, yeah, you're showing me all the things that I need to be worried about. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean... I would say the DT might be able to help push this back, but there is a... And he's building Turret. a command center. In yeah, that's... Oh! That's, <laughs> that's the... Oh, man. <laughs> what happened? What happened to you, RSL? All the group stages was everyone like, we're going to play a 30-minute honorable macro game versus each other, and now it's like we had disconnect strats in the first match, 
and now you're building command centers in other people's names. Can't believe it. Maybe all the nice players got knocked out. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. All the nice players got knocked out, and, and everyone was left was everyone took off their masks and were like, "We were cheesers the whole time." We're gonna we're gonna build the. Uh, we're gonna do manor, manor command centers. All right, game four character is up two one, so game four is gonna be on optimizer one point oh. This map. This map is silly. I don't think I've ever won on this map. I have. I've I've played some games, let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Optimizer is a I think the other game in game uh no one in the regular RSL or the tolerable tier played on this map during the regular games. But in our first match, uh a player just cheesed and won because this is just the kind of map I don't think anybody is comfortable playing on because it's so weird. I don't think it's in the ladder pool, but everyone has it vetoed because there's two gas geysers in the main and it freaks people out. Yeah, I just had to veto it recently because I realized uh, like <laughs> every time it came up, I was getting like nine pooled or some other, I, right. I don't know. No one wants to play an on. And also I just, I can't even, I don't even know where the expansions are or... <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I I true. like that there's pseudo island maps in the middle of either side of the map that you can just I think it's a cool map, but it's yeah. just not newbie friendly. No, it's 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 like it really is a map that's kind of designed for like pro tournaments where they can look at it and be like, "Okay, what are all the different opti optimizations that we can do for optimizer?" Um, okay. Uh, pylon in the main. No supply depot. Looks like it's just another regular uh, match here. Standard. So, does that favor favor character then? <laughs> I think we have uh. to ask. Because each time the the game in the past two games that have gone like this, he has just won with a really solid neck push. Um. So I'm curious. Yeah, I want to see what Marmo does about... Because it's been the last two games in a row, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm wondering if there is going to be any variation to uh, Marmo's strategy, or if he's just going to keep trying. He's like, okay, I proxied the first game. I'm going to play a standard game and follow through. Then again, the first game was on Eclipse, and the past two maps were four-player maps, so Marmo just might not be comfortable doing that. Uh... Oh, hiding the barracks up in the top left. Oh, okay. But the probe is going to see it. Uh, oh, no. Character and now he's stuck on bio for a little bit. Mm. Oh, maybe not. I, had... I mean, the factory is coming, but it's like two barracks yeah. factory plates. One of the things where it's like, character, what are you doing? This is, this is silly. He's getting the academy, so I think uh, he did this in game one too, where he went two barracks, um, into an academy. He got like uh, so marine an upgrades. Earlier rush. Yeah, and I think the gas steal in game one threw this off. So now we're gonna see how this build works when you don't get gas stolen and proxy uh, gateways. Okay, so there's the academy, there's the engineering base, so he is going to be getting those marine upgrades. Uh, Marmo is getting a robo base, so if he gets, or a robotics facility, so if he gets a uh, robo bay, he will be able to just get a reaver and kill all the marines. Yeah, it's interesting because it looks like character is just going tanks and he's going to forgo vulture play. Hmm. And I don't know if that would, I mean, reaver seems like a great counter to marine tank oh yeah it absolutely is but i mean it, it's such a weird build that Marmo just might not know like how to deal with it we can see characters getting stung 
That's true, yeah. I like that he has the Dragoons here, though, because he can slow it down and see it coming. There were other games where he was just stuck in his base and missed the move out. And here he goes. One tank, eight marines, versus four dragoons and a probe. Although this one dragoon okay, back. manages to survive somehow. <laughs> um, Just running right by the marines. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I mean... Marmo went for all Oh, he's got a medic. Cover. All right. I see. Yeah, yeah this, this is a little scary if he only has dragoons. Okay, there's the stem. Oh, yeah, the Marines will... Oh, really great target fire on the medic. So the Marines won't have... When they stem, they won't be able to... Uh, oh, that was good, yeah. Come in. Didn't even notice that. I mean, Marmo might not even need the robotics bay and reavers. Character needs to get a lot more aggressive and move this tank forward, though. I don't know. I'm worried because a lot of his dragoons are kind of already softened up, mm. and you'd be surprised how much damage was it. Ten? A oh, full group of marines. Uh, yeah. yeah. I mean, they can shred that. Oh yeah, marines. If, if, if they get them caught up in a corner and the dragoons can't retreat. Mm -hmm. I mean. Yeah, I just, yeah. Okay, two more tanks coming along the way. The medic's coming. A new medic is coming. Oh, a bunch of medics are coming to help heal. And, okay, no. Marmo finally gets the Robo Bay, so after this Observer finishes, we'll probably see a Reaver, and so this is the timing window that character has to hit is before that Reaver comes out. Yeah, all right, here's the Reaver beginning. Yep, Marmo's going to start uh, oh, bringing his tanks up. Marines really? are being uh, picked off. Tanks are going to start leapfrogging. Yeah, here's okay. where he can force a fight a little bit. Oh, why is he not sieging? No, 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 no. Okay, so the dragoons are going to be able to run oh, forward, and they're just out of range of being able to protect yeah. that. Oh, no. You can just snipe the tanks. That. Yeah, unfortunately, like, the, the back tanks, if they were just maybe just one more, like, tank size forward, they would have been able to cover the other tanks as they were moving forward, but now they're, they're doing... The Dragoons do kind of just run up. Yeah, they could have. That was unfortunate for character. I think that could have gone a lot mm. better. Yeah, it's like that was that was the makings of a very scary push, but um, just a little bit of a mis mishandling of it. Yeah, those. I think if he hadn't tried to push those two tanks so far forward and just mm -hmm. siege them like a, a couple tank lengths in front of his uh, already sieged ones. Right. That way... That way he could really, like, body block with the marines and prevent the dragoons from getting close enough. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. He's... It's not a build, but he did it for the walls. <laughs> I mean, it is a build. He did it in game one as well, or was I mean, trying it, to go for it. It, it could have... It almost worked. Like, it almost should have worked. <laughs> yeah, honestly, like, like, just... If he was just... If he was a bit more forward with those back tanks or a bit further back with those front tanks yeah and i wonder if these tanks how long these tank two tanks in his natural have been there because if he, he probably could have taken those mm -hmm. with him i mean six tanks there oh yeah they would have shredded through those dragoons but now there's a reaver drop coming into his main and there isn't really anything here to defend it so yeah, unless character good. pulls these SCVs very quickly, that Reaver is going to shred through them. Okay, there's the pull. Oh, wow. a dud. Doesn't take anything out. Single SCV. Okay, there's three. Four, six, seven, eight, nine, okay. ten. <laughs> so the Reaver does get a lot done, and I mean, the Marines are coming up to try to shoot it back, and I mean, the Reaver can just kill them. Um, unfortunately, I this is going to stay. I would have changed by now, I think. 
right because um, unfortunately I guess he really needs to pull the tanks back but they have to stay at the front to defend now the Reaver's going to kill a lot more SCVs characters down to only 9 I mean it just does Reaver's too good I don't know what you're talking about <laughs> well versus, versus <laughs> yeah, Marine versus and bio. SCVs <laughs> yeah, um, Marine range just finished so I think character is I, I mean, I feel like once that first push loses, you should probably yeah. abandon the bio. It looks like character just it doesn't have any income, so the dragoons are kind of on an A move path towards character's base, and I mean, unfortunately, yeah. it does kind of work. Yeah, I mean, all these dragoons might die, but it wouldn't even even if they all die, it's not it's not enough. Yeah, because Marmo has. Twice and he took out workers. both tanks for next time, so like... Oh, nope, one lives. With some clutch repairs. Yeah, that was nice, but he lost three tanks and he can't build anymore. Mm -hmm. It's Where's... over, right? Yeah, yeah I, I think. Unless unless character pulls off a miracle, uh, Marmo's going to take a 2-2. Two -two. Series is going to go to tie. And we're going to see game five. That's nice that we're having close series, though. Yeah, there was a surprising amount of, uh, like, five-game matches in RSL. I was... That's very cool. Oh, not enough SCVs. No. Oh, okay. At least Dragoon should be able to clear up the rest of, uh, this stuff. And of course, there's going to be ga basically a constant rally of three dragoons coming out of these gateways. Yeah, and he's going to have another reaver shuttle probably at some point. Yep, it's moving out right now, actually. So. Did he get shuttle speed? He did. So again, it's just all these ways that Marmo is just way ahead in tech. Oh, drops the reaver right next to away, the tank. But it doesn't matter, yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah, Marmo's broken the natural now. And there's only the one tank in the main. Yep. That's looking like uh, the game there. Alright, game five. Yeah. Let's go ahead and speed up the C. Characters also practicing the fantasy GG timing. There's been a lot of that in RSL, I think. Mm -hmm. I think, uh, you know, it sometimes. Makes sense. I mean, it's fair, but. Yeah, some, I think it uh, sometimes is good to get in the mindset of, like, oh, I don't want to GG early because there's a lot of games where you get into a slightly bad position and you go, oh, I'm screwed, and you, and you leave the game when it wasn't that bad. So it is good practice to kind of train yourself to um, not leave even when you get in that mindset. Because there's the chance that the game is like not as bad as you think it is. That's true. I, I normally just get out of there early and go to the next one because I'm so new. I just want to like be playing right, a bunch. <laughs> get but, as, get yeah, as much practice. Getting used to late game is, is important too. Mm -hmm. Alright, and then we're on to game five. Hop right into it. A Neo Sylphid match two character versus Marmotato, the final possible game. Whoever wins this one is going to be in the round of eight. For all the marbles. The marm marmbles. For all the marmables. <laughs> Alright, in the bottom left corner we have Marmo as the green Protoss, and in the bottom right we have character as the yellow Terran. If I were Marmo, I would I would two gate him. Yeah. I, I would build two gates in the middle of the map. I would say, you know what? I don't want to risk this. I don't want to play a standard game. 
And it's not even all in. That's like why it's so. <laughs> yeah. I feel like as a as a Terran, I ha I hate it. It's like you you. It's so difficult to defend, and then even if you do, you're like even. <laughs> yeah. The the Protoss, like if they're like if they don't dedicate 100 percent to it, they can be like, what if I just like left saved a couple zealots so that you can't like comfortably like push out against me, and like got my assimilator and stuff and teched up. Yeah, and I also just think like you need to micro the marines more than you need to micro the zealot in a yeah. lot of cases. Yeah, moving, popping the marine between the bunker and supply depot is. Yeah, I find that pretty difficult. Like it, <laughs> it sometimes it sometimes works, but mostly the marine dies. Yeah, <laughs> so the zealot just walks on over and is like, "Hello." Yeah, he kills him so fast. Mm -hmm. Three three hits, I think. Yeah. And you'd or. think marines were a little faster, but they're actually kind of... Yeah, I mean, they have... Sluggish. I think like they have the same walking speed as a slow zealot. Oh, really? Okay. I think. I'm not sure. That's why it no, makes them... No, probably right. It just feels like they're a little faster, but... Because they have to stop and turn and shoot and then keep walking. Yeah, if you're that's probably them. it. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I forgot the speed up. All right, it looks like standard for character and standard for Marma. So yeah. Let's see if character is getting a factory or is he gonna get another barracks. I mean, I like he had a good Sim City ready for the proxy gate, but right. it didn't. Come. Okay, there's the factory. So character is probably just. Okay, looks like a factory expand. Yeah. Same as games 2 and 3. So, um, from this position and Marmo playing kind of standard, I would lean to say character is probably has the advantage here just from uh, how the other games have gone so far. Yeah, I think... Yeah, Marmo could just take the natural, probably. Or... Mm -hmm. I'm... Not sure why the probe would scout that mineral only. I, I mean, oh, I think Marmo might be looking for proxies himself. Oh, all he's right. He's checked a lot of weird locations, and he'll finally get into the main yeah. and see. Okay, there's just some marines in a factory, although that probe might get killed before it can see how many SCVs are on. Yeah, it's not going to be able to see what the gas count on the SCVs. So Marmo can't rule out that it's not a two-fact push. Character's gonna take his natural and probably put a bunker. Yep. Looking good. Yeah, I'm worried for Marmo now. He's not really. Yeah. Well, Dragoons, maybe they can. They can pressure a little bit, but Marmo's floating a lot of resources, and I think maybe he's just having. A, uh, he might just be caught up trying to figure out how he should play the game. And Alright, looks like he's going to expand a little bit late. He also needs to get some tech up to be yeah. able to fight off the siege tank. I mean, he's not in bad shape, but I think he's a little bit behind. Mm -hmm. The workers are even, are even, but character's going to have his expansion up, his army is more robust he's already got like his siege tank tech up and marmo doesn't really have any like higher tech equivalent uh, okay robo's yeah. going down now so all right characters being pretty defensive i think yep so armory engineering bay so i think he, character's just going to be going for what he went for in game two and three where he's going to say okay well let's see uh i'm just going to do a mech push Get his armories. Why not? Get I mean, it's been working. <laughs> yeah, and uh, I'd, I'd do it again. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Okay. Good defense. It looks like three gate. Mm -hmm. yeah, Maro's macro is looking all right this game. He's getting his gateways up. He's getting a forge, Robo. so he might throw some cannons out of his uh, natural to maybe help defense a little bit. 
my early uh, mech attack upgrade. Yeah, he's probably going for that push again. Yep. I think he forgot to transfer SEVs to the. Oh, there we go. All right. A little late. He's getting his second factory. Marmo is getting his observatory up. All right. I mean, they're about even on workers, even on bases. It seems fairly even, I'd say, like just overall. It is just yeah, going to come down, I guess. Yeah, should be ahead in supply, so... Oh, yeah, he is, right. Yeah, just a little bit. Just a little bit. Um, this first observer coming out should be able to fly over and get a pretty decent scout. There's only the one turret in the natural, I think. Yeah, it looks like he's more worried about DTs. Mm. Maybe. I... That makes sense. Again, Although I'm... I don't know if Marmo's ever... Has he shown a DT in the series? Uh, I don't think so. Yes, I think a DT was sort of the nail in the coffin of game one. Uh, okay. But other than that, I don't think they've been they've played a very uh, big role. Okay. Yeah, it's interesting that he won the first game with that aggressive style and then hasn't tried it again. Mm -hmm. Okay, Citadel's going down and he's moving out with his Dragoons, looking like he's poised to take his... Uh, third island base there. And he's gonna see five factory. Look. Six factory. <laughs> so yeah, this is looking like it's gonna be similar to games two and three where character just gets his uh, big mech push and uh, we'll see if Marmo has made enough of it. Like he's We'll see if he's figured out how to uh, deflect it now. Um, well, it looks like he's ready to take another Nexus, but... Just a little delay. Oh, no, he's gatewaying up first. That's probably fair. Mm -hmm. When you see all those uh, factories, yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh, okay, hold on, let's not take an expansion and risk that. What do you think is the like best response for Protoss to something, to what character's doing? To doing a mech push? Um, well, you want to put on a lot of pressure early game. Um, a lot of these games, we saw it in like the first round as well, but with the match between Kandersi and Dragonzord, where a lot of times if your opponent is kind of being like, hey, I'm going to build up a lot of infrastructure and then make an army, it's really easy to like punish that and harass them, um, either by having those first couple of dragoons shooting at the bunker, having a drop like a reaver drop or something ready, um, to just kind of delay them from getting the huge mech army. Because once Terran gets the huge mech army, like you kind of need like either really good storms, a massive like numbers advantage, or um, arbiters to like take a head-on fight against them. I, gu I guess carriers can work as well, but it doesn't. Those carriers don't really help your main army as much because yeah. the Terran can just go Goliaths. Um. So that's why I think. Well, the main thing, and Marmo's getting a Stargate, so he might be going into uh, Arbiter Tech pretty quickly. So he's doing the right stuff. His yeah, army. But I think character is about ready to. Once that armor mm -hmm. finishes, he's probably going to be pushing out. Yeah, you basically want, as Protoss, you want your army as far forward as possible where it's not taking a fight, but you're forcing the Terran to, like, go into siege, siege mode. And slow because down. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you want to make that push take as long as possible. Because mm -hmm. time is on 
your <laughs> their side if you're if you got the better economy. And, mm. Yeah. I mean, once oh, you get our throw away out. the vultures. Yeah. Okay. This is actually a really good engagement. He's pulling the dragoons back to let the zealots come forward, and then the dragoons are gonna come in with the flank. This is yeah. Looking... Zealots on the tanks. It's... Oh, there's a are couple there dragoons enough? who aren't engaging, but this is looking pretty good for Marmo. He's limiting the tank count. Yeah. If he can keep taking out those tanks, then he'll be okay. Yeah. And Smacker's coming up. He's gonna be. He has a lot of like reinforcement power. Cannon on the third is going to prevent the uh, vultures from being able to come in, and he kind of has an easy like flank with these zealots now. Who are yeah, gonna get and him I on top of the tank. Yeah. All right, there you go. This is again, this oh. is really well done by Mar uh, Marmo. Yeah, that was great defense. Yeah, he he took out all the tanks, and without the tanks, the like pushing power of that Terran army is basically almost non-existent because dragoons do really well against vultures and Goliaths. Yeah, having that this observer in that prime location too, I think really helped. Yeah, knowing where everything is at is huge. Okay. However, okay, now here's the reinforcement tanks though, and now here's the yeah, thing: is you have to. Yeah, clear that now. Yeah. Oh no! Yeah, is you have to once you get that first tank clear, you, when you get the yeah. reinforcements, it still is you're not in the clear yet because the. I don't think you should run so far. I think you should take out these vultures because. Yeah, the tanks are too far back. Yeah, you want to sit just outside of tank range and try to fight the vultures and Goli Goliaths where the tanks can't on shoot the, you. On the tanks now. Oh, he's gonna oh, get one. Oh man! Oh, oh one siege <laughs> tank took out so many. Fine. Oh no. Our oh yeah, this is looking denied, but now. Oh, oh two DTs coming. Yeah. That might push it back. Yeah, there are no mines, so DTs, um, you just set them on the tanks. That will work really well. Yeah, we'll see if character has scans quickly. He's got the energy. But... Mm. Okay, Arbiter's coming out. Stasis is upgrading, which is the correct thing to do. You always upgrade Stasis first. And... Oh, he killed his own tank? What? I don't know. <laughs> Weird. Sometimes you get misclicks. Yeah. Oh man. It's never good when the uh, Protoss is like uh, resupplying with pure zealot and they only have the four dragoons. Yeah. Oh, just you gotta attack with those DTs. Yeah, you gotta move them in. They aren't. They aren't helping. They're just, not. Yeah. Even just moving one into like one at a time to bait a scan out. Let it. Uh, go away and then send the other one in? Yeah. Oh, man. Alright, here here they come. Yeah, they kill tanks so fast. Yeah. And I don't think he notices yet. Yeah, there's so much other stuff going on. I think that SCV's gonna try to build a missile turret. Okay, there we go. Yeah. yeah, now he's outside of his uh, natural. Yeah, I think he's got it. Mm -hmm. I mean, there are no Goliaths anymore, so an Arbiter cloaking units will keep forcing scans out. Uh, like, Marmo's not quite dead, he's just in a very bad position. Yeah, I... It'll come down to this, so I guess if he can take out tanks, but... Oh no. Yeah, the Zealots move out a bit too early. Where's the Arbiter at? I'm not sure. Oh, the Arbiter's on his way. He will be able to help shoot at the tanks. But there's five Goliaths coming uh, in production. So... Yeah, it's a shame. I think if he had gotten those DTs involved earlier and kind of drained the scans... Mm-hmm. Might have really helped. Yeah, but it looks like Carrier's doing... It. Again, he's just... These pushes from character are extremely well, uh, well done. Yeah, it's a nice patient, like, mm. en encroachment style kind of. Yeah, like I mean, he uh, he he lost his his tank count was reset and he was still able to say, okay, nope, here's all my reinforcement takes because he built six factories and is just dedicated to this push. And yeah. Yeah, and he rallied really well. That's I. I'm, I struggle with that. <laughs> <laughs> to not have a siege tank just run out into the middle of the map and die. Yeah, but then to also have them properly get
get to the battle. <laughs> right. Um, Especially with tanks on ramps. Oh, there's no ramp in this, but still. Okay, a tank, uh, three tanks go under stasis, which is helpful, but, I mean, a missile turret's up, seeing uh, the yeah, invisible it's units. Good. The, looks like the Arbiter is going to get taken out. And, uh, yeah, that's going to be a GG. Character's going to take it. 3-2. A pretty close game, I'd say. If he had a good, good tournament approach where he kind of found that strategy that worked and Care and yeah. just kept with it. Mm -hmm. When he got up one game, he was like, oh, let's have him do something fun and try a, a bio push. And it almost worked. But, um... <laughs>